श्री गणेशाय नम ओं श्री सरस्वत नम ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम ओं समस्तजनकल्याणे निरत करुणाम नमा चिन्म देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर ओं मूक कौति वाचाल पंगु लंघयते गिरी यत्तमह वंदे परमानंदमाधव ओं अचतुर्वदनो ब्रह्म दिबापरो हरि अभालोचन शंभु भगवान्दरायण ओं दक्षिणे लक्ष्मणो ये च जनकात्म पुरतो मतिर्य से तम वंदे रघुनंदन Sri Ram Gita we have seen till verse number 14 where <coughs> the jiva was pointed out <coughs> to be <coughs> the reflection of that chit consciousness due to ignorance <coughs> but as far as the self is concerned the consciousness itself is different from this buddhi and also the reflection <coughs> like the sun always is different from the water and the reflection <coughs> this adhyasa or this projection of the self what kind of adhyasa is it how what kind of projection is it here again a very famous example in vedanta has been taken up to make us understand that there are two different things <coughs> one is the consciousness self and the other is the not self which is inert now this consciousness and the inert are coming together somehow and there is some entity that is created which is the ego or the jiva so what kind of entity is this so that is being talked about further in verse number 41 chidbimba sakshyatma dhiyam prasangatah साक्षात्मिया प्रसंग अनलाक्तलोहवत्वेकोहवत् अन्ोन्यमध्यासवशात् प्रतीयते <coughs> जड़ा जड़ चिदात्मचेत चिदिंब चिदिंब रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस विच इज द जीव और द ईगो द इंडिविजुअल एंटिटी हाउ इज दिस बॉर्न वॉट इज इट्स स्टेटस 
ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಆತ್ಮ ಧಿಯಾಂ ಪ್ರಸಂಗತ ದಿಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ದ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಧಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ದ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಶರೀರ ಆರ್ ದ ಇಂಟೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಗತ ಬೈ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಏಕತ್ರ ವಾಸಾತ್ ದೆ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಮ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ದ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇನರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಫೈವ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಮ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನರ್ಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಗತ ನಾವು ವಿ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಹೌ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪೆಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪೆಂಡ್ ಪೂಜ ಗುರುದೇವ್ ಕಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದ ಇಂಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾರೇ ಇಂಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾರೇಜ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಇನರ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾರೇಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಪ್ರಸಂಗತ ಇಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪೆಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಏಕತ್ರ ವಾಸಾದ್ ದೇ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಸೈಮಲ್ಟೇನಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಕೋ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪೆಂಡ್ ದೇ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ನೋ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೋತ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಅಪ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ಅನಲಾಕ್ತ ಲೋಹವತ್ ಲೋಹ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಯನ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಆಯನ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫರ್ನೆಸ್ ನಾವು ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ಹೀಟ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ಹಾಟ್ ಅನಲಾಕ್ತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಬರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಫಯರ್ ಲೋಹ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆಯನ್ ಬಾಲ್ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ರೆಡ್ ಹಾಟ್ ಆಯನ್ ಬಾಲ್ ನಾವು ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ರೆಡ್ ಆಯನ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ರೆಡ್ ಹಾಟ್ ಹೆವಿ ಬಾಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ಹಾಟ್ ಹೆವಿ ಬಾಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಾಟ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಫಯರ್ ಹೆವಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಶೇಪ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಯನ್ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಪ್ ರೆಡ್ ಹಾಟ್ ಹೆವಿ ಬಾಲ್ ಆಯನ್ ಹೆವಿ ಬಾಲ್ ಫಯರ್ ರೆಡ್ ಹಾಟ್ ನಾವು ದೇವ್ ಕಮ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಆಯನ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೆಡ್ ನಾರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಾಟ್ ಆಯನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ಟಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಕಲರ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ಹಾಟ್ ಫಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೆವರ್ ಹೆವಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಫಯರ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ರೌಂಡ್ ಶೇಪ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೌಂಡ್ ಶೇಪ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪೆಂಡ್ ದ ರೆಡ್ ಹಾಟ್ ಆಯನ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಮ್ಯೂಚುವಲಿ ಸೂಪರ್ ಇಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಐಂಟಿಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಸೀಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ನ್ಯೂ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸಮ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಯರ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಯನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೌ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಫೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಯರ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಅ ಫಯರ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದೇ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಫಯರ್ ಬಾಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫಯರ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಫಯರ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫಯರ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಫಯರ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದೋ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಪ್ ವೇರ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಯನ್ ವಿಲ್ ನೆವರ್ ಬಿ ಹಾಟ್ ಬೈ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್
म्यूचुअल सुपर इम्पोजिशन दैट इज कॉल्ड अन्योन्य अध्यास अन्योन्य म्यूचुअल अध्यास सुपर इम्पोजिशन अन्योन्य अध्यास वशात प्रतीयते इट अपीयर्स इट इज नॉट रियली देर इट अपीयर्स ड्यू टू म्यूचुअल सुपर इम्पोजिशन तो व्हाट इज दिस चिदबिंब व्हाट इज दिस रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस व्हाट इज दिस जीव साक्षी आत्मा एंड धिया धी द बुद्धि एंड द विटनेस सेल्फ दीज टू प्रसंगत बाय चांस एकत्र वासाद हैव कम टुगेदर एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट कमिंग टुगेदर अन्योन्य अध्यास हैज हैपन म्यूचुअल सुपर इम्पोजिशन हैज हैपन नो व्हाट डज द ईगो से i know no as an action belongs to the intellect i belongs to the self because the intellect by itself cannot say i the consciousness has to be there so the i ness belongs to the the consciousness and knowing action belongs to the intellect however the knowing also is because of the i only the consciousness only but the instrument of knowing is this same way now if i say i see so the identification has changed the instrument has changed therefore the action has changed but the i belongs to the consciousness and the next verb or quality or whatever other word is used along with i that belongs to the instrument here the intellect is talked about because that is where the reflection of consciousness is possible so anyonya adhyasa vashat because of this mutual superimposition now suddenly the the self or the consciousness appears to be limited now that limitation is not belonging to the self it belongs to the intellect or the instrument but i have taken it up i am limited so the upadis dharma has been superimposed on me the consciousness and the consciousness the sentiency of the consciousness the ability to say i or the ability to illumine things that has been taken up by the upadi which otherwise cannot do it for example there is a bucket of water there is the sun shining in the sky i see the reflection of the sun in the water then what does the that reflection if it has to speak what will it speak hmm. i am sitting in the bucket <coughs> actually is there an entity called reflection it is an appearance there is no entity called reflection what if the sun looks at the reflection and say oh i have fallen in the water hmm. the sun is looking at the reflection and say oh i have fallen in the water i am now in a bucket when will i come back to the sky oh what has happened why did i fall how did i fall so the reflection as though a new thing is born and on the other side the water suddenly the water seems to have light to illumine things if we put a bucket of water outside even in a dark room that reflection of the sun can illumine the room also so can the bucket of water illumine the room no it is the sun's light only but because it is reflected here it seems as though this is the source of illumination so the illumining power of the sun has come to the water as though and the limitation of the water sitting in the bucket has gone to the sun as though and this new entity called reflection has been born as though pratiyate because of which because of what mutual superimposition so the attributes of the consciousness <coughs> the buddhi seems to have taken a few the buddhi's limitations etc has been taken up by the consciousness as though all this is as though as though as though and then ultimately there seems to have been born a new entity called 
द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस और ईगो और चिद बिंब चिदाभास ऑल दीज आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वर्ड्स यूज इन द स्क्रिप्चर्स सो द जीवा इज बॉर्न नो हु इज जीवा हु इज दिस जीवा अर्लियर वर्स इट वॉज जस्ट इन वन लाइन से इट इज अध्यास ओनली But here it is explained further. What kind of adhyasa? Anyonya adhyasa has happened. One thing is the union of two things which is impossible has taken place. Prasangata ha. And then the consciousness attributes have been taken up by the buddhi. Buddhi's attributes have been taken up by the consciousness and as though something new has been born. But actually reflection is not a new entity. Reflection cannot exist if there is no water. It cannot exist if there is no sun. Both have to be there. So, which is dependent on two two entities? How can it be an independent entity? It is not independent. It cannot exist by itself. Even if we empty the bucket, the bucket still will be there, empty bucket. But I don't see the reflection there. only sun is shining no reflection and if there is only bucket but it is at night no reflection so both these as though have come together in form of this reflection but they have not not even come together first of all but even then we say okay they have come together and there is this new thing born and it has the qualities of some qualities of this some qualities of that and both together now something new is born like the redness of the fire and the heaviness of the iron they have come together so now it has become the red iron ball now so who is the jiva the one who is whose existence itself is logically impossible and that is what i am considering myself to be today and that is the one who is going through all these experiences of life whether it is enjoyment or suffering who is going through jiva the one who is performing karmas who is getting the results uh, all this who is doing jiva who is this jiva whose existence is not possible glad to meet you who are you i am that one whose existence is not logically possible but then how are you here thanks to you <laughs> well, you are ignorant so what can i do <laughs> so it is out of ignorance i do not know who i am if the sun does not know who it is the ever shining ever independent luminary in the vast expanse of the sky if it does not know itself it will look at its own reflection and see oh this is me then all the sorrow and suffering of that sun will begin so little bit some disturbance to the water the sun starts crying i am broken i am broken i am broken the water is dirty oh i got dirty the water is slowly getting evaporated decreasing oh i am decreasing now i am going to die i am going to die what is death transfer of water from one bucket to the other that is what is death that is why it is called kicking the bucket <laughs> it is not meaningless it is this bucket that is kicked by the water huh? along with the reflection goes and put it is put in another small little bucket then slowly the bucket grows up huh? then that is also kicked the water gets transferred huh? along with all the dirt mud muck whatever is there and in one bucket there is some alum also suddenly comes then little bit of purity comes it is purified then the pure water goes but it keeps going 
and the son says oh so many births so many births so many births till when is this going to continue till the son realizes that i am not this reflection i am this independent son irrespective of whatever whether there is a bucket or a water or a reflection i am free from all this i am that infinite ever shining sun which is illumining everything in this universe not just this bucket and water <clears throat> as long as this knowledge doesn't take place this punarapi jananam punarapi maranam and all these enjoyments sufferings all these things will continue so here bhagwan is saying anyonya madhyasavashat pratiyate jada jadatvam cha chidatma chetaso ho chidatma this conscious self and chetas chetas means here the antakarana the inner instrument or the buddhi these two so jadatvam is in the buddhi a jadatvam or the consciousness is in the chaitanya atma these two are mixed up anyonya adhyas mutual uh, superimposition and because of that this whole journey is going on so the hero of the story only uh, is non existent then what is the point of telling the story like if we begin our story that there was a barren woman's son he was born on 30th of february uh, early in the morning at 11 o'clock he rode a horse with five wings and three faces and reached the sky from where he plucked so many flowers he fed those flowers to the rabbit which had two horns and the rabbit suddenly took the form of a dragon and he took him to that land where there was only water and there he died of thirst this is our story <laughs> what is the story the beginning itself barren woman's son that is where the over story is over but i go through this whole how is this possible oh this is also he went there also he did this also huh? all this i am looking at the story but actually the beginning the first step if it is a barren woman where is the son and he is the hero of this story and we are listening to the story oh after this happened this happened but that person only is not there similarly this jiva his story only i am going through so many experiences i am performing so many actions i am facing all its results i am going here there going to that loka this loka coming back again doing all of all karmas punya papa its results everything swarga naraga everything is going on who is this the one whose existence is not possible anyonya adhyasavashat pratiyate only an appearance so the very i sense that i have today logically cannot exist still it is there and that is what is troubling me now what to do so it is only knowledge that can liberate us from this we are actually not bound but we feel we are bound why because we have considered ourselves to be something that cannot exist otherwise but that is what is me now that is a supreme reality for me today it is not about the body mind intellect and all it is not about the instruments it is about that identity which is born out of the identification with this instruments that identity itself is a fictional person <clears throat> 
this uh, as an example, even Bhagavan Raman Maharshi talks about it, that how does this jiva get apprehended? Because he is a fictional phantom and this phantom is ruling our life. This is an example that Puja Guruji gives. <coughs> uh, there is this wedding. A wedding, two families come together, the bride side, the groom side and... Now, there was this man who was you know, taking up all responsibility, running around, doing all the work. And people were so impressed. Some people said, you know, can you take care of my jewellery and all, it is there in the cupboard, this is the key, okay, I will take care whenever it's required. I'll... Somebody said, you know, take care of the kitchen, you know, at, um, at the right time we should serve the... Yes, 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 I'll... don't worry, you just go. Everywhere, all responsibility he took, he was the... After some time, he had every department of that wedding, he had everything, complete power. Now, after the wedding was over and he ran around and did a great job, the wedding was successfully completed, all the family members, nobody felt any burden because everything was taken care of, this one individual took care of it. Now, the family, now they were two families, now after the wedding they have become one family. So, they all sat together in the evening and they were talking to each other. Now, suddenly the groom's family, members, they started praising the bride's family members. No, that one man, he's not seen. Where is he? No, he was such a great help. He helped us so much and he took all the responsibility of everything, you know. We didn't feel like we have come from somewhere else. We felt so much at home. He comforted us. He took care of everything that we needed. We didn't have to even ask. He was supplying everything that was required. The bride's family people said, you're talking about that person. Huh? We thought it is from your side that he has come and we were surprised that how did he take up so much of responsibility because we also gave everything and he was very readily able to help and all. We also did not know. We thought it was from your side that he has come. Now when both of them started inquiring, who is it? Not my side, not your side. Who is he? And he has all the keys. Huh? He had by that time. Why? As soon as he saw these two are sitting together and inquiring, that inquiry starts, he disappears. As soon as inquiry starts, where is this I thought coming from? What is this I, the sense of ego? Where is this coming from? Who is this? As soon as that inquiry starts, he runs away. The Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi says, Dhavatyahankara pishacha eshaha. He says this ahankara is like a ghost. He suddenly runs away. Why? Because as soon as one starts inquiring, we understand that he has no existence because he is not even from this side. Not from the inert party, not from the consciousness party. So, where did he come from? Not belonging to the bride family, not belonging to the groom family. He is owning up, I will do, I will do, I am doing, I am doing. And he did everything. And when inquiry happened, slipped away. So, this inquiry is what is required. Knowledge is what is required. And how can we get that knowledge? Huh? The next verse it is said, Guru Sakashada Piveda Vakyataha Piveda <coughs> Vakyataha Sanjata Vidyanu Bhavo Nirikshatam Vidyanu Bhavo Nirikshatam Swatmanam Atmastham Upadhi Varjitam Atmastham Upadhi Varjitam Tyajed Ashesham Jadam Atma Gocharam Ashesham Jadam Atma Gocharam Guru Sakashad Such knowledge and the right thinking can be developed only with the grace of the Guru.
from the guru only can it can be gained and guru also gives what knowledge he does not give something new that he has invented and all he will give veda vakyataha the knowledge of the scriptures only because this scriptural knowledge the veda is actually revealed knowledge it is not composed by someone it is revealed revealed means it is the direct experience of the rishis and therefore the guru also gives us the knowledge of the veda and it is required to be learned from the guru otherwise we will not understand so for us to be able to understand digest assimilate and also live that knowledge experience this truth we need it to come from the guru guru sakashat from the guru with his grace this veda vakya sanjata vidya this vidya this knowledge is born in us and not just vidya means some intellectual burden vidya anubhavah it is the nature of this knowledge is direct experience not information not just mere understanding it is anubhavah direct experience sanjata vidya anubhavah so now this vidya this direct experience nirikshatam having gained this and having experienced this having seen this seen this means directly experience this the reality of this scriptures the reality of who i am swatmanam who have nirikshya having seen or having directly experienced what swatmanam my own self or who is this my own self what kind of self is it upadhi varjitam which is without any upadhi right now i think myself to be upadhi sahitam and that is what is the ego that is the jiva but here he is saying upadhi varjitam nirikshya having known this swatma this my own self which is without any upadhis without any limiting adjunct without any instruments free from all this where is it where can it be experienced atmastham atmastham in my heart we know what is heart the spiritual heart that is the integrated mind and intellect in that spiritual heart having experienced my own self free from all the upadhis then what happens such a person tyajet he gives up what jadam everything that is inert the everything that is not the self self is consciousness therefore anything other than the self is inert give it up what is that he is saying atma gocharam that which can be experienced by us experienced by us can be one meaning can be experienced by the senses or anything that is experienced by the self as this is to be given up means all that is known as this is given up then what remains i alone remains because anything other than i is this so atma gocharam i know what will i know other than me huh? what is it as this only so this includes you also this includes that also so anything other than the self ashesham completely without a trace can i keep little bit no <laughs> here tyajet means that is what will happen it will be dropped once the sun knows its own glory 
then why will it need the bucket why will it need the water and why will it need to sit in that water even after that the reflection may still be visible but the sun doesn't have any confusion that i am that i know who i am then tyajet ashesham anything other than me even the reflection is other than me the i thought which is the ego or the jiva that also is other than me the reflection has to be given up the medium of reflection the subtle body is to be given up the house of the reflection where the subtle body sits that the gross body also has to be given up everything other than me and it includes the individual and the total so the total gross world total gross uh, total subtle world that also has to be given up the three avasthas the jagrat avastha swapna avastha sushupti avastha and their experiences that also has to be given up everything when does this happen when from the guru or through the guru the knowledge of the self which is described or pointed out in the veda comes to us and we experience our own real self free from all these limiting adjuncts or upadis that's when the other things other than myself get dropped tyajet so this tyajet verb can be looked at as a commandment that the guru is saying bhagwan is saying here tyajet give it up having known this then give it up that is one or <clears throat> tyajet also such a person gives up that way or tyajet also means it will get dropped it will be given up because after that one will not hold on to it once the sun knows then why would it hold on to the reflection similarly once i know myself then why will i hold on to that little entity which is only limited to this so tyajet ashesham jadam atma gocharam that inert not self i give up <clears throat> then after giving up what should i do because after that there is no time pass huh? because there is nothing else ha you bore ho jaunga main then only i am there because everything else now earlier there was bucket there was water there was a reflection sometimes there was gandaki in that water sometimes the water was dancing so i also felt i am dancing so some entertainment will be there i am going from bucket to bucket so from red bucket to blue bucket to yellow bucket so i am seeing some variety is there so much nice nice things were there but now now everything given up then what should i do hmm? so what should i do or what does a such a person who has reached that state does in whichever way we want to say here it is said <clears throat> verse number 43 prakash roopo ham ajo ham advayo prakash roopo ham ajo ham advayo asakrit vibhato ham ativa nirmala vibhato ham ativa nirmala विशुद्ध विज्ञान घनो निरामय ज्ञान घनो निरामय संपूर्णानंदमोहम क्रिय मयोहम क्रिय हाँ देन आफ्टर दैट वॉट इज देर ओनली आई एम देर सो देन वॉट एम आई डूइंग आई एम रिवेलिंग इन माई सेल्फ i don't need anything else to revel in so then prakash roopo ham aham prakash roopah i am this of the nature of pure consciousness light ajah aham i am that unborn advayah the one without a second asakrit vibhatah aham sakrit means once asakrit means many times many times means always asakrit vibhatah ever shining self shining 
ఐ ఎమ్ నాట్ అ మీ అర్ రిఫ్లెక్షన్ ఐ ఎమ్ ద ఒరిజినల్ లైట్ తమేవ భాంతం అనుభాతి సర్వం విత్ దాట్ లైట్ ఓన్లీ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఎల్స్ షైన్స్ దాట్ ఐ ఎమ్ అసకృత్ విభాతోహం అతీవ నిర్మల ఐ డు నాట్ గెట్ పొల్యూటెడ్ బై ద వాటర్స్ పొల్యూషన్ ఆర్ ఎనీ అదర్ పొల్యూషన్ ఇన్ ద అట్మాస్ఫియర్ ఐ ఎమ్ ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్లీ ప్యూర్ ప్యూర్ మీన్స్ వాట్ దెర్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ అదర్ దెన్ మీ దాట్ వన్ అలోన్ ఈజ్ ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్లీ ప్యూర్ అతీవ నిర్మల విశుద్ధ విజ్ఞాన ఘన ఇయర్ విజ్ఞాన మీన్స్ కాన్షియస్నెస్ ఘన మీన్స్ కాన్సన్ట్రేటెడ్ అన్డైల్యూటెడ్ కాన్షియస్నెస్ what is this diluted consciousness there is nothing called diluted consciousness but to just emphasize that it is consciousness alone without anything nothing else is there so vishuddha vijnana ghana just that's all now when we say this darkness when there is like nothing is seen then you say it is no pitch darkness or thick darkness uh, that thick or pitch what does it mean that no it is so dark that you can't see anything at all uh, that is otherwise nowadays in cities and all there is nothing called night or darkness or anything because there is so much of light uh, little bit here or little bit curtain is open light will come in there is always light but that thick darkness that thick veil of darkness i can't see anything just right here also in some villages and all there have been incidents where these elephants come out in the night and they are just you know roaming around looking for water food so they sometimes the elephants come and they elephants they may be so huge and so heavy but they are utterly silent we may not know an elephant is standing right behind us if we do not turn around they are so silent so there it has happened actually near our international school in coimbatore this such stories were very common there was this cyclist who was going back home at night it was pitch dark thick and he he was just riding the bicycle and suddenly thup he hit something and fell he came to know there was an elephant standing there <laughs> and very dangerous he just just imagine he is just riding a bicycle and then suddenly in the darkness thup he hit something and fell down pitch dark thing is visible similarly here full consciousness nothing else other than that that is called vijnana ghana that's all nothing else so vishuddha vijnana ghana niramaya till the time the sun considers itself to be a reflection sitting in the on that surface of water it feels very uncomfortable sometimes not at ease uh, because it, it depends on the state of the water so it is not at ease all the time here niramaya uh, amaya means disease niramaya no disease means at ease uh, there is no disease always at ease నిరామయ సంపూర్ణ ఆనందమయ సంపూర్ణ ఇట్ ఈస్ కంప్లీట్ దెర్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ దట్ కెన్ నో దట్ ఈస్ నీడెడ్ టు ఫుల్ఫిల్ ఇట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కంప్లీట్ బై ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ సంపూర్ణ ఆనందమయ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫుల్ ఆఫ్ బ్లిస్ see this anandamaya and anandamaya kosha are different maya suffix 
has one meaning that is modification. So when we take the meaning modification, Anandamaya Kosha, modification of happiness. That's where we saw little happiness, then more happiness, then more happiness and in sleep there is full happiness. So that is all modifications, limited Ananda. Here Maya also has another meaning and that is saturation, filled with nothing else but it. So saturation of happiness, here Ananda Maya means that saturation. So Sampurnaha Ananda Maya Aham, I am that Akriya, no action also in me. In order to indicate something, either it should have some qualities, it should have a form, it should have name, it may have some relationship with something, it should have some kriya, action. These are the different things that can help me indicate something. But who am I? I am without any of these. Means I cannot be even pointed out. If I cannot be even pointed out, then how do I know myself? Because it is me. Then I don't need to point out myself to myself. So I am meeting myself. Why do I need any introduction? If I have to meet someone else, then I need to recognize that person. I need to get to know that person. I need to spend time with that person. Here I am meeting myself. And when this knowledge happens, that is when perhaps I am meeting myself after a long time. I never got separated, but still the sun, all its life if it is thinking that it is a reflection and after a long time again it gets back that buddhi, that I was never that reflection. I am this ever shining sun. Then as though it has met itself after a long time. Like that we also are meeting ourselves after a long time. And then we are reveling in ourselves. Uh, that is the joy. The Upanishads say, these people, Atma Kridaha, Atma Ratihi, Kriyavan. Uh, they may seem to be acting in the world outside, but they are actually reveling in themselves. Uh, they don't have Anything else they are dependent on. Real independence is theirs only. Now, these words when they come, like in this last verse 43, and the next verse also, these are the words which Puja Gurudev says, help us as pointers for meditation or contemplation. We need some pointers, some of these words which indicate, which take our mind to that Self. So these are pointers. Pointers are not descriptors. Pointers are not describing the Self. Pointers are only indicating that in this direction, move ahead. Drop the pointer also. And where you reach will be that destination. So here, verse number 44. <coughs> Sadaiva mukto hamachintya shakti man Atindriya jnana mavikriyatma kaha Jnana mavikriyatma kaha Ananta paro hamahar nisham budhaihi Ahar nisham budhaihi Vibhavito ham hridiveda vadi bhihi. Vidiveda bhavi bhihi. Sada eva muktaha aham. I am ever liberated. Now, when I all these words are indicating that self only, I am ever liberated means. Even the statement that I want to get liberation is also a statement of ignorance. Because once I realize who I really am, then I don't want to get liberation because I am ever liberated. Sadaiva muktoham. 
So if I am ever liberated, then all those experiences of bondage and the upadis which gave me such an experience, all that gets dropped off. So when I am sitting on the seat of meditation, when I say Sadaiva Muktoham, I actually am dropping off so many things. I am free, ever free. Achintya Shakti Man, I wield incomprehensible power. Power means what? That I have infinite possibility. Infinite possibility <laughs> even of considering myself to be that wretched jiva. That also was a possibility in me. That's how it happened. And to regain and reclaim my glory, that is also a possibility in me. Otherwise we'll say, how can that all-knowing consciousness ever think that it is a limited jiva? Possibility. It is a shakti. It is possible. In 15th chapter of the Gita, Bhagavan very clearly says, Matta Smriti Jnanam, by me there is remembrance, there is also knowledge, but apohanam cha, there is forgetfulness also. That is also a possibility in me. Therefore, I can forget myself and consider myself a wretched jiva. Do I not do that every night when I see a dream? I am doing that. And in waking also I am doing that, but I don't realize it. But I am considering myself to be a small little limited being. Trapped in this body, wanting to get liberated. But actually, the Anand, Achintya Shakti Ma. Atindriya Jnanam. I am that knowledge which is not available for the senses or the mind. It is beyond the senses and mind. That kind of knowledge I am. Now, if it is beyond the senses and the mind, which means it can never become the object of the senses and the mind, then what kind of jnanam is that? It is that because of which the senses and the mind also are able to function. The very powerhouse, which enlivens all these instruments also. Atindriya jnanam, avikriyatmakaha, and one which has no change, modification in it. Uh, vikara, vikaras are possible in the gross embodiment. The gross body goes through vikaras. Uh, it is born, it grows, it decays, it dies. All these things are vikaras, modifications, changes. Avikriyatmakaha, I am that which never changes. Means this gross existence is not me. This is, these, this is how these pointers are to be utilized for our sadhana. Anantaparoham, anantaparha. I am, anantapara means, para means the end, shore, the end of the ocean, let us. I am that whose end doesn't come only. There is no sure. What is this consciousness? Infinite. Anantapara. There is no end. There is no frontier. So I am that. Anantaparo. Aharnisham budaihi vibhavitaha aham. I am budaihi vibhavitaha. By these wise people, I am vibhavitaha. Vibhavitaha means experienced. I am experienced by the wise. Huh? I am experienced by the wise. Yes, because the self in me is the self in all. The wise people experience me. Huh? And I also get to experience the same thing that the wise man experiences. Pooja Guruji says, so many times he has said, this is such a privilege this knowledge is such, this self-experience is such, it is the same experience that once upon a time Bhagavan Vedvyasji had. 
इट इज़ द सेम एक्सपीरियंस भगवान आदि शंकराचार्य जी हैड इट इज़ द सेम एक्सपीरियंस स्वामी शिवानंद जी स्वामी तपोवन जी हैड इट इज़ द सेम एक्सपीरियंस विच पूछो गुरु गुरुदेव हैड दैट सेम एक्सपीरियंस वी कैन इट इज़ अवेलेबल टू अस नो इन एनी थिंग एल्स इन द वर्ल्ड पीपल से हमारे ज़माने में जो शुद्ध घी देसी घी मिलती थी आजकल ऐसा नहीं मिलता है यू कैन नॉट गेट दैट घी बट यू कैन गेट द सेम सेल्फ विदाउट एनी डाइल्यूशन विदाउट एनी एडल्ट्रेशन द सेम वेरी सेम एक्सपीरियंस इज अवेलेबल फॉर अस टू क्लेम आर वी रेडी टू क्लेम सो बुध ही विभावित अहम इट इज मी हु दीज वाइज पीपल हैव एक्सपीरियंस्ड हु इज दिस बुध हु इज दिस वाइज पर्सन वेदवादि भी दोज पीपल हु नो द वेदस सच पीपल एंड वेर डू दे एक्सपीरियंस मी हृदय इन देर हार्ट एंड वेर कैन आई एक्सपीरियंस in my heart <laughs> so it is available for me the same experience which all my gurus had all the rishis of the vedic period had all the, even bhagwan ramchandra ji that experience that is my experience uh, what greatness of this knowledge glory of this knowledge that it is available for me with these pointers these words these uh no when i sit down and any of these words i take up and lead my mind in that direction leaving that word also behind and i ultimately reach my own self that self then everything else automatically gets dropped then i don't have anything more to be done my job is done so we'll see more of this in the forthcoming classes <coughs> om purnamadav purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शातिशाति हरि ओ श्रीगुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ